Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready for your Tuesday in the morning sprint. Right, we are on Firewatch coverage this morning. Olivia Roberts tracking a record-breaking wildfire season in the West, and Mark Peterson has a look at how the forecast is fueling those fires. But first, to Destiny Richards with live Firewatch coverage in Nespelum this morning. In and around Nez Pelham, just lots of smoke and ash, and the town is completely evacuated still because of these three fires that sparked last night. Still a lot of uh, hot spots, and you can see some of the damage from the vegetation in and around the town, but not that initial um, flames and devastation that we saw in video today. Um, right now, there's still level three evacuations in place for Nez Pelham, Buffalo Lake, Colville Indian Agency, and Cache Creek. Just go to our website, kxly.com, for more info. In our first alert, whether it's the heat that everyone is going to be dealing with in Espelum, they're going to have a forecast of about 102 degrees. Uh, again, some of the haze might keep those temperatures down to a little bit, but not much. Upper 90s and low 100s. And we're going to see, again, uh, with the heat advisory in effect through Wednesday, triple digits from Colville all the way down into the Tri-Cities. Most is like 103. Pullman at 95. Spokane, wind's going to be light. 98 degrees expected in a quarter lane, mid to upper 90s there. Cooling centers will be open today in Spokane because of changes made to a city ordinance. With the changes, people in Spokane now have more opportunities to get to cooling, warming, and clean air centers. Cooling centers will open when two or more consecutive days of at least 95 degree temperatures are in the forecast. The Louf Carousel, SCA Plaza, and all five libraries will be used as cooling centers. However, the hours are different depending on where you go, so check out when each cooling center is open by going to our website, kxly.com. As we speak, 58 large wildfires are burning more than 700,000 acres in the West. It's already been a summer of extremes, and we have a long way to go. The largest fire in the country right now is in southwest Oregon, and it's threatening California's power supply this morning. The bootleg fire is now mapped at more than 150,000 acres and is threatening about 2,000 homes. The fire doubling in size every day for three days. Now, the Beckworth fire is near Lake Tahoe, California, scorching about 90,000 acres. At least 20 homes have already been destroyed there, and more than 3,000 people have been forced to leave their homes. Another fire in California, the River Fire, now threatens a critical route in Yosemite National Park. New this morning, many parents are wondering if their children will have to show proof of COVID vaccination to attend school in the fall. For many states, that answer is no. At least seven states have enacted laws that specifically forbid public schools from re requiring vaccinations. Most states have introduced general legislation that limits requiring people to demonstrate COVID vaccination status. In many instances, if those laws pass, they will likely apply to schools as well. Federal health officials are investigating whether the Johnson & Johnson vaccine might slightly raise the risk of Guillain-Barre syndrome. The spokesperson for the CDC says the agency is working with the FDA to evaluate a potential connection between the single-shot vaccine and the rare neurological condition. The final drawing for Washington's vaccine lottery will take place today. The prize on the line, a million-dollar jackpot. Over the past several weeks, the state has given away more than a million dollars in cash and other prizes, including Xboxes, even scholarships. The state health officials say the lottery has led to a 24% increase in vaccination rates across all ages. If you are already vaccinated, you're automatically entered in the drawing. Lottery officials will contact the winner tomorrow. New trouble for Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The Wall Street Journal says a production problem has been identified that could take at least three weeks to fix. That would likely mean Boeing customers with orders in would miss out on new jets for most of the summer travel season. General Motors is recalling more than 400,000 trucks due to an airbag issue. This, this can affect 1,500 2,500 and 3,500 series pickup trucks manufactured between 2015 and 2016. The problem is with inflator components that can fail and cause an airbag to suddenly deploy for no reason. So far, all three incidents of the airbags deploying happened when no one was inside the vehicles. If you have one of those recalled vehicles, expect to hear from GMC and Chevrolet in the next month. Coming up next on Good Morning America, the high stakes, high stakes court hearing for Britney Spears, the superstar fighting to end the 13 year long conservatorship that she says prevents her from making her own decisions about her life. And now she could have a tough new advocate in her corner. 
GMA has the latest. We'll be right back with one last Firewatch update from Destiny Richards and a final check of the weather with Mark Peterson.